Hi, welcome back to the channel. I think it's about time we caught up with what's been going on since Marathon Weekend. But first, check out this new intro. You're going in three, two, one, go! So I thought I would kind of do this in a who, what, when, where, and why type of format. Um, I have some things to, to update everybody on. Um, I'm at, today's actually Saturday. I'm out here doing, um, getting ready to do four miles. Um, and I'm going to try to do it without an, any walk breaks. I won't be doing a whole lot of videoing during the run. If I end up walking, I'll end up talking. But, you know. Uh, so, but take a look at some other stuff I've been up to this past week. You guys ready? You ready to do the chatty? Oh goodness, it's a gross muddy day outside, so I'm gonna do a little walking warm up for weights. And these guys are gonna walk with me. It's a nice thing about having two treadmills now. Good girl. We got this guy over here. And we got Sadie right here. So it's Friday and I was gonna go do three miles um, out at our local uh, little trail near our house. And it's windy and cold and I just don't have any desire to run in windy cold weather. So, you know, we have our new treadmill which you saw um, with me and the dogs. And one cool thing about our new treadmill is that it actually has this feature. I guess it's pulling it from like Google Earth or something. But um, you can draw out like a path and it'll change the elevation as you're going on this little path here. So I drew out three miles around where I was going to run. And uh, this is actually the first time I think I've ran on our new treadmill. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a... Sweaty mess. No, but that was fun. That was fun. It definitely made running on the treadmill a little more dynamic with the treadmill going up and down. So that'll be fun to draw. And you can do it, you know, anywhere all over the world that I guess has uh, some sort of Google map or whatever, but it's, it's pretty fun. I'm excited to try that again. What you got? What you got? Is that your bone? Is that your bone? These two. You proud of mama for doing four miles with no walk intervals? Are you proud? No, I don't think I care that much. <laughs> but as you saw, we did a lot of treadmill stuff this week because the weather was so nasty. But yesterday and today, uh, it's been good. Um, but yesterday it was just so cold that I just didn't have any willpower to, to go outside. Um, but today I did. What is in my pool? Let's see what this is. They're eggs. <laughs> You know, I did see some frogs. I wonder if those are frog eggs. That's so crazy. Okay, distracted anyways. Um, so like I said, uh, over the next couple minutes, I'll try not to drone on too long. I figured I'd give just a brief little update. Uh, who, what, when, where, why. Um, so I'll start with who, because I know that I've actually gotten a few new subscribers and new people on Instagram, which is super fun. So hi, um, I'm Amy, uh, name Wilderness Runner 210 um, There's a whole explanation for that name. I'll link the video where I first talk about it, but I live in North Georgia, and it, it may not really be like wilderness, but I mean, hey, well, that's my backyard, right? So, um, and also I love uh, the movie Up, and uh, he's a wilderness explorer, so I just, it's one of my favorite movies. Um, and then I'm a runner. And then 210 comes from Ephesians 210 uh, for We Are God's Masterpiece. Uh, and one of my favorite verses. And so you'll hear me close out my videos with that because I, I, if there's one thing that I would want everybody to know is just how special they are. Um, and I feel like that verse really, really says it'd be more masterpieces. So anyway, um, yes, like I said, live in North Georgia. I'm a stay-at-home mom and wife. I have two stepkids. One's a freshman in college running cross-country. One's a senior in high school running cross-country. Uh, my husband runs recreationally for health, you know, 
Um, but my kids are really one of the first people that kind of got me into the running world and then my sister as well. I'm getting ready to turn 36 here in a couple months, so that's exciting. Yep, dad's home, look they're excited. <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much the who. We'll get to the rest of the stuff here in a little bit. Hello, happy Sunday morning. You get me on my way to church. Um, and I have no idea how this footage is going to look because I just have my GoPro sitting on like a little lip of my dash, so we'll see. Um, obviously if you're seeing this, I think it's okay. Uh, so we're going to continue with our little update. Um, one thing I can't believe I didn't mention um, during the, the who am I part. Um, well, and this leads into the what. Um, so I am now the, the proud owner of several Run Disney medals. Now I've participated in two, technically three weekends. Um, at this point, we got the virtual 5K for 2021 when everything was still closed. Or actually, I don't think Disney was open, but they weren't doing Run Disney yet. So I did the 5K for that. And then I did uh, Princess Challenge 2022, and then of course Goofy Challenge 2023. Um, so that leads into my first what question. Uh, what did I learn from Marathon Weekend? Um, the tip about buying the really cheap fleece blankets from Walmart is a really good one. Um, because I don't know why I fell into the classic, it's Florida, I don't need warm clothes scenario. Um, and I ended up being fine in what I brought to run, but I remember when I saw that it was going to be cooler than I thought, and I don't, I don't know if it's maybe the the water in the air that makes it just, you know, makes it feel a little cold. Just, you know, it's that damp cold and it just it gives you the, it makes you chilled. Anyway, um, but I was so glad that I had those. Oh, I need gas. Um, I was really glad I had those blankets for sure. Um, definitely for the half marathon day. Marathon day wasn't as cold, but I brought it with me. One, because I was, you know, it was a throwaway blanket. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, training for the marathon. Um, I was very pleased with um, the training plan. You know, I used Galloway, kind of meshed with a, a women's running marathon training plan. Um, so I did workouts from the women's running, and then I followed the long runs for the Goofy Challenge training from, from Jeff Galloway. I was very happy with all that win. Now, the one thing I will change next time is because I had to move some runs around and I, you know, I did it in a smart way. I didn't, you know, do any long runs super close, but I ended up having almost a three week taper. Um, and I didn't really like that. Um, it, the original Galloway plan is just a two week taper. Um, so I'm definitely going to make sure that I, you know, I don't make that taper any longer than it needs to be because I, I started to feel a little anxious and you know everything was fine and I I finished goofy and I felt really good doing it so um, very pleased uh, definitely strength training you know you'll hear people say this that strength training is seriously the best and will definitely help um, with running these you know running these long distances so I've I've kept up with my strength training which we'll talk about in a minute um, gosh what else did I learn from marathon weekend um, it definitely helps to hit that between 6 and 7 p.m. bedtime for waking up on those early mornings. I take melatonin to help me sleep. Um, staying at Fort Wilderness, um, I was afraid we would hear the electrical uh, pageant, the water pageant, and then the fireworks. Um, and I think the very first night that we were at Fort Wilderness, which I didn't have a, a race the next day, I did hear the fireworks a little bit. But the other two race you know, race mornings, the evenings prior, I didn't hear the fireworks. Um, took my melatonin and I was out ready to, um, ready to go the next morning. Um, so the, it's possible to, you know, get enough sleep. I would, um, I didn't do the parks at all this trip, uh, mainly because my husband was with me, but I also felt that even Sunday when I was done racing, if I were to have gotten a park ticket, I don't feel like I would have gotten my money's worth just because we didn't get back. Um, and, you know, cleaned up and everything. It was like 1 or 2 o'clock already. Um, which, you know, most park days are, majority of them are over by then. I really liked how we did our reservation. Oh, okay. You know, we did a, um, we did a reservation at Chef Mickey's. So I could get pictures with, um, you know, the Fab Five with my medals and not be, you know, sweaty and gross. 
so I loved I loved that idea. I do have a video from that. Um, I haven't looked at it at all. Um, I don't know if it'll be a separate video or I might insert some of the some of the highlights in my next in my next update video. Um, so we'll see. I have to I have to look at that footage, but it was super fun. Uh, favorite parts? What were my favorite parts of Marathon Weekend? I think the theme probably made the weekend for me. I think because you know it was 90s theme, so <laughs> you know all the music, and we heard a lot of the same music over the entirety of the weekend. But I really didn't ever get old for me. I just you know 90s music. It's good dancing music. So it was it was super fun. The theme was great. Um, the, I don't know if you call them decorations, mile markers, and then the colors and the stage, um, characters on course. Um, I was able to ride Everest, so I loved that. Um, you know, obviously, the one thing that um, I didn't get to check off my list was finishing the marathon with my sister, which um, I didn't mention this in the video, so I'll mention it now, because I did catch up, with, catch up with her, as you saw in my marathon recap. It was about mile, maybe just after mile six, I think. Um, and she told me, she's like, she told me to go on ahead because she wanted to be able to concentrate on finishing her marathon. And she felt like if I'd stay with her, we would talk, we'd slow down, she might run out of breath. And she just wanted to be able to focus. And I was like, that's fine. And um, when I got to mile 26, I actually, uh, con you know, texted her to see where she was. And she was still about 45 minutes, I think, behind me, I think is what we decided. Um, and so she told me just to just to go on. She didn't want me to be waiting at the 26 mile marker for for that long. And I was like, okay, but it won't be the last time I'm there. It won't be the last time for a marathon, of course. So we're we're gonna we're gonna coordinate finishing that marathon together um, at some point. So what have I been up to since marathon weekend? Well, besides editing all of, all of that footage from all of those races. Um, I definitely took a few days off, very slowly came back into running, I did, did some walks and then I did some balloon lady walks which you know, was just walking with a little bit of jogging in there. My dad, who you've heard me talk about uh, before, is starting to play around with, um, with uh, the walk, run, walk as far as his knees, um, so I've been joining him, well, actually I think at this point I've only joined him for one. Uh, because it's been really cold and the weather's been bad. But the one day, um, we did a, I forget, I don't know if there was really a consistent interval that we did. I can't remember now. Um, because it's very hilly in his neighborhood. But either way, we did like two and a half miles. And the overall pace was like 1230, which is pretty good for um, considering how much we did walk during that. So um, that just goes to show you that the, the Jeff Galloway run, walk, run method is really good when you have limitation like uh, like your knees or anything like that where you can still get a fairly decent pace and not stretch your body out too much so that's exciting maybe we'll get to I'll get to do uh, a race with him again sometime soon uh, but even if we don't get to do a race together I told him I was like whenever you're gonna be going out let me know and if it's not freezing because I am a wimp when it comes to the cold if it's not freezing I'll come out and join you he's got great hills in his neighborhood so it's good good hills training so besides that, I've just recently, this week, was my first week in a 5K training plan. Um, and this kind of leads into my last what question, is what are my goals moving forward? Um, I, I'll show it here in, a, here in the next little bit in video time, in my time it will be after church. Um, but I am, am redoing our little sunroom area where I, I have displayed a whole bunch of my, my Disney run Disney stuff, but I got a big... Um, whiteboard where I have my goals listed now. And I have short term and long term of course. So short term I have our local 5k that uh, my stepkids and I were, were big fans of. Um, and I won't be running that for time because it's a trail run and I do not, I can't run trails fast. I'm not stable enough on my feet to run trails fast but I'm using it as an opportunity to train like I was training for time for a 5k and I'm going to run a time trial probably a week before the actual uh, the actual race. And I'm trying to get a new PR 5K time trial time just, just for fun, um, which I believe my current 5K PR is a 27 something. I can't remember. I wrote it on my board. So I'm training for that. 
registration for Disneyland coming up. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to get in for the challenge for Disneyland. So that's my third short-term goal is to PR and fun um, at Disneyland. I really hope I get in. It would be so, I've never been there. Um, it, would, it would just be so cool to see um, the park where it all started. And my sister and brother-in-law, of course, are gonna try to get in as well. Um, so if we all get in or maybe just one of them gets in and I get in or, you know, whatever combination, um, we'll go out there and have a good time. And then long term, here is the exciting long term goals. Um, I am going to run the marathon again in a couple of years. I'm going to try to get a sub five hour. Um, this time around it was five hours, four minutes. So I feel like I can shave off those four minutes. I feel like that's achievable for sure. Um, so I'm going to try to get a sub five hour marathon. And drum roll, I'm in my car so this is my drum roll. I am shooting for Dopey of 2025. Um, I told Tara and Kristen um, earlier this week, I sent them a message, I said, um, you are two of the people that have, you know, gotten me to where I, I think Dopey is achievable for me. Even though, the, I mean, the main thing that was holding me back from ever thinking I'd want to do that is waking up early for mornings in a row. But especially after how awesome and how much fun I had during Goofy, it's not even so much I'm thinking about the fact that I have to wake up four mornings in a row. It's, I get to run four races that are just so much fun. So that's like twice as much fun as I had at Goofy is what is what my mind is telling me. Um, so it's just something I want to do, something I want to try. And um, like I said, I'm going to train for Dopey just like I did for Goofy is um, I'm going to, you know, really lean into the marathon training part and try to shave those four minutes off. Um, so that'll be two years from now. Uh, that'll be Dopey 2025. So that's super exciting. So with all of that, I kind of already uh, did the win question that I came up with, which is when will I be racing again? Um, got April, November, and then hopefully January Disneyland, and then January 2025 for Goofy. And I'm sure between Disneyland and Goofy, there might be some little, little local races, but, um, but one thing that I could make a win question is when will I be back at Disney World? I will actually be back in December with a couple of my fr uh, girlfriends from up here. We are going to, uh, we're planning on going for the Candlelight Processional in December, so that'll be fun, and I might, I probably will make um, a vlog or two about, about that. Um, I'm really excited. I've, you know, I've, I've seen video of Candlelight Processional, but to get to go there in person, um, and to go with a couple of my friends, and we're planning on doing, um, I think right now we're planning on doing all the parts except Animal Kingdom. We have three park days, so that'll be exciting. All right, so this is my space that I've created that you can see I share with that little girl right there. Uh, here's that board I was talking about. I mostly got it, besides the fact I can write down goals, but now I have a good reason to buy magnets. So, my goofy sign. I finally changed the sign the other day. So it's Sunday afternoon now. Uh, we're gonna wrap this, wrap this thing up here, um, cause I'm sure once I sit down to edit this, it's probably gonna be really long with just me talking. Um, other questions that I had for where, where am I going? Um, like the races I've already mentioned, I've got the local race, I've got uh, one in November, that'll be at Chickamauga, um, hopefully Disneyland. Uh, as of right now, we don't have any just road trips planned. Um, we got a few things in the works, but nothing official. Uh, we might be going back out west again, so I'll be excited to share that. Uh, we got a trip to Lynchburg coming up here in just a few weeks. Um, we're going to go visit the distillery, so I don't know if I'll share any of that, but you know we're big on our road trips with our RV. So, And then lastly, why? So my question for why was why do I run? Um, one of the amazing things that I absolutely loved about Marathon Weekend was just the the people. I mean, the crowds of strangers that I didn't know, but that were cheering for every single person that ran by. Uh, the people um, from the YouTube Run Disney family that I've gotten to uh, gotten to see on a couple of different occasions now, and watching them accomplish their goals. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I love it. Is 
uh, feeling encouraged by that and then getting to encourage others um, was just an amazing experience. I'm sorry, I keep looking this way. I'm watching my watching my dogs there outside. <laughs> I just got home, so. Um, but anyway, uh, so there's your who, what, when, where, and why. So I hope everyone that was at Marathon Weekend has recovered and has set some new goals for themselves and we're gonna move forward with all of those. Uh, so give this video a like and comment. What races do you have coming up for the rest of the year? Are you gonna try to get into Disneyland? And then be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I go on all kinds of fun adventures and I love to share them with you guys. Always remember that you are God's masterpiece and I'll see you in the next one. Hi girl. If they should subscribe, give me a, give me a shake. Give me a shake. There it is. Good girl. You'll see a lot of her too. <laughs>